Hi there beautiful souls, welcome back to Tuesday's talk with Grada. Um, today I am starting a mini series that will go over the next six weeks and every week I'm choosing a specific body system um, and today I'm going to talk about bones and skeleton and when you have issues with that system, let's for instance you um, you have a sore bone or a joint or a fracture, I'm going to explain to you what potentially the meaning can be um, behind your pain. What is your soul trying to tell you? Because every body system has its own carries its own charge that's different to a different to to its neighbor system, right? And um, um, if we were all highly awakened and sensitive to our soul, and if we were all able to listen to our intuition when it's talking to us, we often wouldn't have to have pain and disease and accidents in our body because our intuition is like a telephone line to source or to our soul, right? It's a telephone line between our head, our normal thinking brain, and our heart. So our heart system, the heart chakra, is the home of our soul. Um, and we all came here on a soul mission, I, I should say, our mission. Our soul has a mission for us, like there are certain things we have to learn, right? And often, um, of course, our soul is guiding us in conjunction with, with God or source or ultimate power. You could say that creator, the two of us are guiding us. And if we listen to our intuition and we understand what our intuition is trying to tell us, we can go down that road. But of course, when we're born in a human body and you, you know, um, you come into your mom's body, you spend time there and you're absorbing off all of her emotions and belief systems and if she's secure or not, uh, or not feeling safe, that all goes into your body as well. And then when you are born, uh, and you start to take your first breath, pretty much all the outside impressions uh, activate this disconnect between you and your intuition. And then we have to work really, really hard to become sensitive to our... We have to learn to pick up the phone line again and listen, not just hear the static, right? Sometimes when we meditate and we pick up the phone, it's like all static. We just hear crackles and, and it doesn't make any sense, so we stop listening to it or we stop meditating um, but ultimately um, your soul speaks through your body if you're missing all the signs and symptoms it's like feather brick truck if you're missing the feather and the brick then the universe has to give you a truck right and in your case the truck could be brain corruption or it could be cancer or it could be a relationship breakup or it could be like aches and pains in your body right and I actually realized I've never really done a session on what your body is trying to tell you because there are generalized symptoms that belong to specific organs that nobody's ever taught you about because you're not educated in this at school. And I thought, well, okay, given that everyone is living with a sense of disconnect, like literally everyone, including me, like we, it's hit and miss with my intuition as well when I'm living my normal life, when I work as a healer, I'm pretty switched on. But from back in my personal life, when I'm doing the dishes or, you know, walking around the house or in the garden or dealing with my kids, it's not, my intuition isn't always very clear either. So we can listen to our body and then we can work backwards and rebuild our connection to our soul by listening to our body and i thought that would be a really exciting fun thing to share with you over the next six weeks so today i want to uh, shine the torchlight on our bone structure right so we have our skeleton our skeleton is really the foundation or it's foundational to our body, you could say. And we actually have the saying, bone deep. This is bone deep. Have you ever heard of that, that somebody said to you, well, this goes bone deep. And when we say that it literally can't go any deeper than that, like it can't go beyond that because there's nothing. So when we experience any aches and pains in our bones, including broken bones or a fracture, a fracture often happens suddenly, of course, like it's an accident or something like that. Then we think, oh, that just happened today, like in this moment. 
but no, that's not true. Anything to do with your bones uh, has a long history. Like it's opening up a can of worms that's very, very deep. So um, when you think of our bones, that's also to do with the base chakra. For those of you who haven't heard of chakras, chakras are energy centers um, that organize our energy outside our body. So they're literally like organs that sit outside our body and they dictate the flow of energy. So your bones and your skeleton is very deeply connected to your base chakra or your root chakra. And your root chakra has the color red. So red is often a healthy color for your bones. Um, and before you come into, before you conceived, before the moment of conception, you are somewhere, of course, in the, in the ocean of consciousness you're already building a connection and a root system like invisible roots with your birth father and mother right even if you're adopted that's still happening and then um, it's like you're preparing your foundation and that includes your bones right even if you're adopted you would be preparing a root system with your uh, biological parents and also already with your support people, your carers, the people who are going to take care of you in your childhood. And this becomes the foundation of your inner child and your adult life as well. It's all built on that particular foundation that starts long before you are conceived. You can even take it back to, well, I challenge you to think about this. It may not be true, but I, this is what I think. My children already watched me be born, right? And then they watched me grow up in Peter in Tasmania. I grew up in Holland and they already knew, well, they're going to be my parents and so on. So our children know us at a very, very deep, profound level already. They don't come in as new babies who know nothing, right? And so they already orchestrate certain events or they witness those events and that helps them to be the person who they are and to do their soul lessons when they are born. So I want you to start thinking of your life in a very broad perspective and also have what I call symbolic side. So if you think of your bones, they give structure to all the soft tissue. So they support and the foundation and you literally can't live very long with diminished bone structure. Like you can live with diminished like you can lose your spleen and your appendix and your tonsils and all the rest but when your bone structure diminishes um you, it really shortens your, your life as well and the quality of your life so your bones are really really important so what can be what can your body tell you when you have bone issues um so the so as i said again so your bones have to do with the foundation with that sense of belonging right so if you have a lot of joint aches and pains maybe in your case you need to look at am i happy where i am in my life now do i really feel that i belong and some people actually are born with a sense of a misplaced sense they never feel like they belong anywhere and um and if that's the case, you need to come and see me because it's really important that that's corrected. So you can really reclaim your body in a sense and be your authentic self and be empowered if you relate to that. So if you have a fracture in your bone or many fractures, um, it's often to do with like a deeply, deeply repressed anger. So, and by the way, um, I could do a whole hour on anger, okay, but I won't go into it too much, but the anger has gone inward, so it gets repressed, and then it build, the charge builds up and up till something explodes and a bone breaks. So it doesn't matter if it's an accident because you still attracted an accident. And if sometimes it's like it, it's shattered something and now the pressure, the charge is released. And now you're feeling the pain of course it's incredibly painful right when actually the whole point i'm making here is that's all well and good so some of the chat is now gone right it's released like a pressure cooker but if you don't look at the real issues behind like why was that anger building up where in my life did not feel protected because anger is often a protective force 
how do I deflect my anger? Um, what is there in my life that's not going well that I'm just sweeping under the carpet and my soul is getting angry, like noticing or my nervous system is angry about it. So you need to think of anger as a force that um, comes in to give you the courage to create a new clear space, to clear some toxicity, some toxins in your, maybe toxic relationships. It always means your boundaries have been crossed at some level and you didn't uh, either see it, but your soul did, your higher self did. There's anger in your body about it and conflict uh, or something like that. So anger in women is often turned, diverted into sadness. And I'm speaking for myself too, because um, when you think about the accident that I attracted when I was 43 and I had so many broken bones, honestly, probably more than, well, I know apparently humans can have 49 broken bones or fractures before they pass out from the pain. So I didn't pass out from the pain, but I probably should have, but I had so many broken bones that the doctors didn't even count them, right? And the irony is that I was already working as a healer and an intuitive healer, and I was just completely blind to my own inner issues that were simmering away in the background. And I think the universe had already warned me a few times because we had a string of car accidents in our family, including I had um, one myself or two even minor ones before I got hit by a truck. So it's like the universe is like, wake up, Grada, you need to really sit with something in your life that is creating conflict, very, very deep conflict in my innermost self. And I just thought I was having a wonderful life. I was happy and successful and blah, a blessed life and all the rest. So the universe had to show me, no, that's not actually the real reality. So, um, so this is how, if, our, if we can't listen to our soul or the cries of our heart or soul, the universe has no other option but to give us pain because nothing will stop us in our tracks as much as pain does. But then we, the pain needs to be our teacher, like what you have to learn what it meant so, so that you can change it, so you can honor yourself and take a um, build connection with your soul because ultimately the universe and your soul and your higher self actually want you to have a really really good life they want you to feel fulfilled and authentic and be brave and courageous and confident and step out up and out and the, you, your soul wants to grow your soul really only has two needs one is to grow and and the other one is to contribute so uh, evolving and sharing, you could call that as well. And so when you evolve and share, you actually have a really, really happy life. So ultimately, once you work through your pain and you don't waste it, you actually come out richer on the other side. So if you have like a broken ankle, this is actually what created the, the today's series is because on Sunday, I had to give one of my granddaughters a little bit of a treatment, a bit of TLC and she broke her ankle playing basketball um, and she broke a bone in her ankle three weeks ago and it, you know she needed a little bit of TLC and help and it was really painful and all the rest and um, when you break a bone in your ankle that often signifies that you're, you're not feeling supported at the moment in your life it's like the ground it can even mean it feels as if the carpet's been pulled out from under you or the ground has been swept out from under you. You're not feeling solid and supported. That's what your body is trying to tell you. And um, if you're an adult, that then often means like, well, where do I, how can I support myself more and better? Where do I find that support? Do I have to change the situation and so on? That's not, so you have to look for that. But with my granddaughter, when you're a child, it's different, of course, because you have to live within the realms of your reality. So I gave her a nice healing session. And then I was talking to her mom last night and she said something landed on her foot like 80 kilos at work yesterday. And her foot was all swollen and really sore. And she was wondering if she had hurt her bones in the foot as well. So I'm going to catch up with her tonight. So quite often... 
So there's something going on inside that family that needs to be looked at and then and restored. Okay, so all these are messages for us to like, hey, do something about this situation. I remember last year my son-in-law, who is a basketball player, a professional basketball player, he also broke a bone in his ankle, I think it was, or in his foot, which put him on the sidelines. And at the same time, his mum was dying, but they didn't know actually that his mum was dying, but she did die several months later. And the fact that he had broken his foot, his ankle, and put him out, he couldn't train as much, he spent a lot of time at home, and his mum was living with them at the time. So in hindsight, it was the absolute best thing that could have happened to him, right? Because it pulled him out of action, and he had time, he had a beautiful, well, you know, as few months with his mum that he wouldn't have had otherwise, because he would have been distracted with his professional life. So also you have to think, I'm not saying that when you have a broken bone, somebody is going to die, but in hindsight, when you look back, there is always perfect order in whatever happens in your life, trust me, because everything is guided by, by the Creator, by a higher intelligence, and everything is under control, and literally nothing on the outside often needs to change, it's just more to do with going into your body and understanding why this is happening to you. So in the past I've also treated clients who always break their arm, no sooner do they get over their first break and they break their arm again or they break their hand um, or shoulder. So if you have um, habitual fractures in your upper body, especially your arms, your shoulder or your jawline, this is definitely to do with anger because anger, um, what's the word? Um, energizes you know your neck the door it's like it puts you in survival right and so um <clears throat> i've had to work with them to to deal with the anger issues anger is not really an issue by the way because every emotion is welcome but the real question is probably you could say what is the healing heart of anger how about you start to look at anger like that What's the healing heart of anger? What's at the heart of this and how can it heal me, right? Rather than being dismissive of it. So with women, they can never be angry, but they can be sad, right? So it's all right for a woman to cry and to cry. But if you're a woman who cries all the time and years later you're still crying, that means your anger is being diverted into sadness. And if you don't listen to it, you could you could end up with you know fractures in your bones. So, um, so the the bones all also create the immune system, right? Because the uh, white cells supposedly are created in the bone marrow. So that's really fascinating too when you think of your bones, bone deep, right? All your history is inside your bones including your ancestors, many, many generations of history is in your bones. And if you believe in past lives, many, many past lives, information and energy is in your bones as well. So that makes it a really interesting subject to discuss. And again, um, I'll just quickly tell you about my mom. My mom was born with a hunchback. Well, she wasn't really born with a hunchback, but by the time she was two, Two years old, she had a hunchback, so that meant her spine disappeared under her left shoulder blade. Her left shoulder blade was stuck out like a wing. She was very, very deformed in a skeleton. And that was a bone deep pattern because she had an uncle like that and a grandfather like that. And I mean, who knows where it started. But one time when I was um, in a really deep meditation, I actually got a picture of one of my ancestors uh, being in the stocks. So like in Europe, in the medieval days, people were humiliated um, and put in stocks so with their face and our hands sticking out and like hunched over like that. And then they used to throw rubbish at them and stuff like deep, deep humiliation, right? So traumas like that can carry over into the offspring and of course I don't want my children or my grandchildren to suffer so I work really really hard to clear things as they come up 
And the wise we do get wiser, the more we tune into our body, the more we understand, the more compassion we have, the more we realize, wow, I can't believe I'm, I've got all that history in my body and my body is just dealing with it mostly good from day to day, right? And we go through our day, we have our ups and downs and everyone has a lot to do these days. Everyone is so busy, but it's really important that you find stillness, like you're a human being. So human being is stop doing your busy actions every day for at least 20 minutes and just sit still like with nobody around if that's possible and allow yourself to feel into your body like what are your bones trying to tell you just focus on one bone right one little toe maybe or something like that um so and and what is it trying to tell you so again going back to your spine if you have issues in your spine it often means you don't feel supported and you especially don't feel supported in relation to truth right so either that means somebody isn't being truthful often a close to one around you might be not being truthful or honest or this lack of integrity or you are not being honest yourself of course to yourself and I mean, again, that is a big minefield because in your awareness, you could be thinking you are honest to you, but you're just not aware of how you are selling yourself out. That's called how you sabotage yourself. So that can sit in the spine. The spine is often to do with support, not feeling supported. Um, the lower spine is to do not, with not feeling financially supported. And the middle, like the midsection of your spine is often to do with regrets or feeling carrying too much guilt and shame that doesn't even belong to you. And then, of course, the shoulders, I already told you that. But that's also about feeling burdened and then being in survival and unexpressed. And the energy of anger sits in there and it's just waiting to explode. <clears throat> so I find all this fascinating. This is like what I'm super passionate about. Um, so if you want to have a personal private detective session, book in with me. Next week I'm going to talk about headaches. What's your soul trying to tell you about headaches? Um, so the bones, as you've realized now, does have a lot to do with anger. Having, it's deeply suppressed anger, but remember that anger is just simply a messenger it means that at some point you didn't feel protected you didn't get to receive the protection you deserve or there was dishonor you felt dishonored or maybe your current situation is not honoring you or you are not honoring yourself and the universe is not going to let you get away with it and ask yourself what is the healing heart of anger trying to show me here Right, and then just let the answers come, and for that you do need stillness. And again, that starts with intuition. Pick up the phone, allow your brain to go on zero if that's possible. Just put your brain outside the door, put, you know, put your head outside the door, and just tune into your heart. What's your heart trying to tell you about this situation? And then the best thing is to write it all down. Just write, write in a, in a journal. Journaling is absolutely great. Because that's one way that you can restore your intuition, your connection with your deeper self. So the bones are always to do with core issues, at most innermost core issues. Um, and of course, that that's the, the greatest challenge for all of us is to go below the surface and to access what's going on in the core of you. And your immune system, like I said before, depends on the tool because the white cells are created inside the bones and then they become your immune system so that's for that reason already very very important as well hope you enjoyed this so next week i'll unpack headaches a bit if you have any questions or if you understand things about bones that i've missed please send me a message or share it here in the below the video i mean there are so many many aspects of it but this is kind of a generalized um, knowledge that I'm sharing that should have been 
taught to you when you went through the school system. Alrighty, everyone. Um, I'll leave you and love you. Big love for me. And I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.